what is up guys um <clears throat> i'm sorry for the quality of the video i'm filming on my cell phone right now so i'm not sure about the sound either uh, if you can hear me uh, well or not but here's a little video so um as uh, some of you may know the genesis is dead uh i got rid of it uh i sold it and uh i parted out pretty much everything uh the only thing i have left is my GT uh, 35 uh, tur turbo kit uh, it's laying in the garage but uh, yeah I got a new car and um, well this is the reveal slash walk walk around of uh, the new car so um, here you go guys so this is my 2015 Mustang it is an EcoBoost model it has the 2.3 liter turbo engine, uh, which is the same, well, not exactly the same, but the engine from the Focus RS is based on off that engine. Um, yeah, so, uh, you know, a little four cylinder, it's a lot more uh, fuel efficient, I would say, than the V6 and the V8. It's still a lot of fun to drive, way better than the Genesis, when compared to uh, a stock Genesis, the stock Mustang wins. <laughs> like it's it's a lot more fun to drive. The interior is nicer. Um, I mean, the car looks a lot more modern. Um, I mean, yo, it's it's a Mustang. Like, who who doesn't like Mustangs? It is a base model. It has it has the cloth interior, uh, six-speed manual. It has the rear view camera, electric seats. Um, that's pretty much it as far as options go. But yeah. So I've had the car for like a week now. Um, so it's it's pretty much stock. And uh, you know, uh, I'm broke as hell. You know, I don't have the money to mod, mod the car right now. And uh, with this one, I want it to be uh, like smarter about it. Uh, I want to, uh, if possible, pay off the car, pay off the car before starting to mod it because with it being a 2015 model, it's still under warranty. It has um, three, uh, what, 38,000 kilometers uh, on the car, which on miles, in miles, I don't know how, how much it is, but 38k kilometers. And uh, yeah, still under warranty, so I don't want to do anything too crazy on it. But uh, I got myself a set of uh, tuner lug nuts because the lug nuts from the Genesis don't don't fit these cars. These are uh, the thread pitch of the rotors, while the studs are M14 by 1.5, while the Genesis is M12, so it doesn't fit. But I got myself a set of uh, aluminum lug nuts off of uh, Amazon, and uh, I'll test fit my wheels the white um, Varstowans on the car and uh, let's see um, how it looks like so uh, before I show you the whack ass fitment I have right there uh, on the Stang uh, if you want to support me just you know leave a like leave a comment subscribe you know it'll help me out let's reach I want to reach 1k subs so I can get my uh, monetization back because of the ruling of YouTube and blah blah I got it like taken taken away like a couple of months ago so um yeah let's reach uh let's reach 1k subs guys so um without any further ado i'll show you So, um, the Mustang uh, is um, basically made to run a square setup. So, the thing happening right now is that on the Genesis, it has um, it had a staggered setup, which means the fronts are like like thinner than the rears that are wider. So, um, right now, you can see the nine; those are 19 by 9.5, and it pokes like just the perfect amount the right amount and you when you look at the rear it pokes of about like 
maybe like a three quarter of an inch or an inch maybe I could pull that off with um, uh, well first suspension suspension wise I, I would need like at least springs well springs or coilovers coilovers would be the best because I could like you know adjust them uh, to my liking but yeah um, with a suspension the wheel the wheels in the rear will naturally like tuck in a little it will add camber naturally uh and if i need more camber well i could get a camber kit rear camber kit for the mustang and uh, in the front i'll show you guys there's like this is like uh about two inches of uh of wheel gap um i know springs spring wise uh i back don't make uh, springs that drop two inches the uh, the the most drop I've seen with springs on these cars are the d2 racing springs they drop uh, about 1.7 inch I could go with that um, with that option you know it'll leave me a little little room to to move you know and uh, I think it'll look great and also I could um, I could uh, I could use a little um, tiny beefier uh, tire because these are 245 30 or 35s and yeah they look like really really skinny but yeah sus suspension uh, beefier tires suspension a little bit camber we could pull that off and yeah I also want to get rid of the the white I'm tired of the white look I want that thing to be black on black <laughs> So I hope y'all enjoyed that little video. Um, again, subscribe, leave a like, comment. I'll see you guys in the next one. And uh, yeah, peace.